I got Cutworm on speed dial for all of my Jeep related questions and he said to take this snap ring off right here and then there'd be another one in here and then that would allow that to come off. I did take a quick look online and I think I can pick up a whole new one of these. Uh, if I did drill this out, you'll notice the threads right down in here are pretty ugly. So even if I even if I drilled them out and re-threaded them, it wouldn't be as strong as it would be if I got a new one. So I'm going to pop that a loose. In fact, y'all can watch. I'll do it right now. Uh, see if I can see if I can get that to discombobulate into my hands here. Maybe if I set y'all angle like this you can see what I'm actually doing and I'll put my gloves back on for hygienic purposes I don't want to infect the wheel with any of my germs because you know I know where I've been this poor Jeep ain't never had that kind of vaccination before I'm just saying <clears throat> okay we got an outside ring here oh I've got a ring snapper that would work on that real good let me go get it <clears throat> Here's my little ring fetcher, whatever you want to call it, tool. Ring spreader, we we'll call it that. Oh, it's hard, it's kind of like flying a helicopter and chewing bubble gum at the same time when you try to work one of these, for me anyway. Not that I ever flew a helicopter. I have chewed bubble gum. When I was a younger fella, in fact, I got a whooping in school for chewing bubble gum one time. I'll tell y'all about that one of these days. Back right, when I was a pretty young fella in high school, grammar school, uh, junior high, what it was, I was uh, caught for chewing bubble gum in class. And they uh, told me I had to stay in during lunch and scrape bubble gum off a desk. That was the punishment. It wasn't such a bad punishment. I didn't really much want to go out that day, but I made the mistake of while I was scraping bubble gum, I was chewing bubble gum too. Well, the coach, he spotted me and he says, what the, because I showed him all the bubble gum I'd scraped up from under the desk. He says, what's that you got in your mouth? And I said, what's bubble gum? He said, well, you, you can't chew that. And I said, well, it's my lunch hour. He says, get in here, and he took me in the office. He got a board, and had a big old board. It had a rebel flag on it. It had holes drilled where all the stars were. That's supposed to make it hurt worse. And he commenced to paddle me. Back in those days, if they paddled you, it was like capital punishment, and the whole school witnessed it, so he turned the intercom on, and he'd do it over the intercom so everybody could hear it, and he hit me three times, he hit me four times, and after he hit me that fourth time, well, it really hurt. Well, I turned around, and I grabbed that paddle out of his hand. I said, you ain't gonna hit me no more. Well, I learned a valuable lesson that day. That's not a good idea to put up that kind of resistance, even if you feel like you need to. And I, I did feel like I needed to that day, because, man, that was hurting. Now, I'd be honest with you, I didn't think it was fair. I didn't think it was wrong to chew bubble gum on your lunch hour. That coach, he didn't just didn't have the kind of sense of humor to put up with that kind of stuff, so he made sure when he finished paddling me to make sure that mice wouldn't hurt all the rest of all worse than the rest of them. Anyway, I don't chew bubble gum anymore. Maybe why? How come I'm having such a hard time getting this thing to come off? It's not supposed to be that hard. It ain't like I ain't done this kind of thing before. Come on now. Stop. Stop. Whatever you're doing, just stop it. I need one more hand. I need to be able to stick this hand over in here while I got that spread. And try to get them things to come loose. Try to get that over in there. Yeah, that'll help. Another bigger screwdriver. I think this one's be too big. I might get in there. Oh, 
Oh, that's annoying. Dang it. Come on up out of there and stop fooling around with me. You'll make me ugly. I think that's what I wanted to do right there. Somebody's been in here before working on this thing. <clears throat> it weren't me. So. 